Hello everyone. My name is Yotam Pear and I'm a rising sophomore at Mills. Thank you so much to everyone who came and supported us during our census and job finding presentation, where over 2,000 people listened in. However, work doesn't just stop at finding a job to kickstart your career. While other avenues such as civic duty may not seem as illustrious, they offer a gratifying sense of success as you help your communities flourish. The rest of this video will help explain where civic engagement is needed and how we as teens can partake in it. You will hear from my colleagues about COVID-19, the census, and voter registration, where the country needs all the help it can get. I'm Denzel, a rising junior at Hamilton College, and I'm here to talk to you about COVID-19 to keep you, your friends, and your family safe. First, wear a mask. It's a simple step that goes a long way in limiting the spread of COVID-19. Wash your hands regularly. It'll protect you from spreading the virus to items you're in contact with. Next, make sure you're socially distancing yourself from others. This means that you are at least six feet away from other people. If you interact with the same objects frequently, or other people are, make sure to disinfect these items after they've been touched. If you suspect that you've been in contact with someone infected with COVID, make sure you quarantine for at least 14 days and monitor your symptoms. Lastly, if you are infected, make sure to isolate yourself from others until your symptoms have improved and you've gone 24 hours without a fever without the use of fever reduction medication. I'm Victoria, a high school senior, and the fastest way I practiced my civic responsibility this year was by filling out the census for my household. If you're a teenager, specifically 15 years or older, you can legally fill out and submit the census so that your family and community are counted. This is actually the first time the census is available online. All it takes is to go to my2020census.gov and the questions are very straightforward and it's really easy to fill out. It's a way that you can make change in your community in less than 10 minutes right now today. It's available in 13 languages and contrary to some rumors that were going around earlier in the year, there's actually no citizenship question on the census. It's perfectly secure. And why should you care? So the census this directs billions of dollars in federal funds to transportation, schools, public services, small businesses. These are all things that directly impact you. And the census count also determines um, how many congressional representatives each state receives in the House. Fill out the census. It's a direct and impactful way that you can help your community in just a few minutes. My name is Olivia Brady and I'm the Youth Engagement Coordinator for NYC Votes at the New York City Campaign Finance Board. I'm here to remind you all to register to vote for the November 3rd election. On November 3rd, we're voting for candidates like President, Congress, State Senate and Assembly, and even some local positions too. It's really important that everyone makes their voice heard at the ballot box, but in order to do that, you have to register first. You can visit voting.nyc to find a link to get registered. Don't forget, 16 and 17 year olds can pre-register now. You can't vote until you're 18, but you can get your form filled out and ready to go for when you are. The deadline to register to vote for the November 3rd election is October 9th. It's really important to get it done right away. So remember, visit voting.nyc and register to vote today.